the, the Gender and Sexuality Working Group, and we're really excited to be here tonight. Um, I hope everyone enjoyed the movie, Jose. Um, it's very exciting, and I feel like in a lot of ways, it really exposes a lot of fault lines and a lot of questions that we don't see in a lot of cinema. Um, so as Martha said, um, I'm gonna be just getting a few questions out there, kind of um, bringing a few themes to the forefront that I wanted to highlight, and then we'll open it up for a Q&A and some guided discussion as well. Um, so yeah, so one of, the, one of the things that when I first saw this film that really jumped out at me was the, this division between private and public life, the, this classic um, Calle Casa division. Um, and how it's really it's really kind of interrupted in this film how we see it this through the theme of movement and transportation and how there's a liminal space between the casa and the calle that is the carro which broadly is more broadly is transportation we see one of the key one of the key moments in this film is where um, jose and luis take off um, to amatitlan there on their motorbike and luis is kind of showing jose what this life could be like if they were together um, and so through this liminal space where Jose is able to live out, to um, live his sexuality more openly, he is able to, um, it's in this liminal space of the carro, the, the, the transportation, it's a moto, <laughs> it's not actually a carro. Um, but then we have the problem of when the mother sees him, um, that's this clashing of the carro and the private space of the casa, and how these spaces are continually in flux. Um, um, and then, so one of the other themes that I really wanted to highlight is movement and migration. And so throughout the first part of the film, we see Jose moving throughout the city. Um, we see he works in zone four. We see briefly he's in zone 13. And then we see some, some scenes in zone one. Um, but then he moves out to the um, Pacific coast to visit his grandmother. And then he goes back um, to the Caribbean coast where he is um, looking for Luis. Um, he has this kind of as he moves about the city and then about the country, it's mirroring his emotional journey that we're following as well as his physical journey. Um, and there's really this turning point when he leaves the city and he goes out and he speaks with his grandmother and she says, she talks about his abuelo and how, um, you know, he was disappeared and it's kind of somewhat ambiguous in this and that he left and he didn't come back and in, I'm not sure how many of you guys are familiar with the context of Guatemala that the desaparecidos are um, usually referred to as the victims of state violence. Um, and so then we see Lu um, Jose kind of having this realization that he wants to keep looking for Luis. Um, and so then that's when he heads out back to the east part of the country where to um, Isabel, where Luis is that he's from. Um, but I don't, I don't know if, um, if this is something the filmmakers meant for us to make this connection of, but how his abuelo has disappeared. And how when he, when we, earlier in the film back in Guatemala City, we see um, Jose finally, you know, Luis is kind of mad at him, he wants him to leave, Jose doesn't want to, and then finally Jose makes a decision to leave and he can't find Luis. Um, and so the first time I'm watching this, I'm thinking, oh, you know, he just, you know, Luis just left. And then when the abuelo, who's the disappeared, um, that scene comes up, I'm starting to make these connections. And we see earlier in the film how um, they're looking at their scars in the body. And one of Luis's scars um, on his knee is where he has been um, beat up for his sexuality. And so it kind of leaves this ambiguous space of did something happen to Luis because of his sexuality? Is he a desaparecido? Or did he simply leave? Um, I think that's, for me, a big haunting question. Um, and it mirrors um, Jose's movement throughout the country, throughout his um, emotional journey. Um, one more, so then, and then the, the film ends with um, Jose getting on this motorbike from an unknown, unknown man, and he's riding off. Um, so then, a lot of symbolism with the, with the moto. Um, but we don't, we really don't know what happens next. Um, is he going back to Guatemala City to be with his mother? Is he going on to find Luis? You know, we don't know. And I, I you know, I like to think, you know, it's a happy ending, but what is a happy ending? Um, one more thing that I wanted to point out that I hope um, 
people I hope that we can have a conversation about is um, Jose is constantly on his phone throughout the film and he, he meets his lovers through apps. Um, and then he, um, how does like apps and phones and then technology more generally change the fabric of queer communities? And then is this uh, a superficial change in how queer people create, maintain, and um, broaden communities? Or is this a profound change that has been brought about by technology? Um, and then going back to um, kind of um, transportation as a liminal space of how does the internet act as a liminal space and open up more areas for people to more fully embrace their identities and explore and move about the city um, in physical but also um, virtual ways. Um, yeah, so I hope everyone enjoyed it. I've absolutely loved this film um, and we're gonna open it up for a few questions um, and then we have some guiding questions for the discussion as well. I'm sorry, it's uh, not exactly the most, um, the best setup for a discussion, but we hope that we can all think this through and the, the many layers of this really interesting film together.